A man and a woman are trapped in the air at 28,000 feet. They had to open the air release valve to lower their altitude, but the bleeder valve was already frouncing. Amelia had to climb to the top of the balloon. Then she used her feet to push the ice away. After a lot of effort, she finally succeeded. But then Amelia fainted because of the loss of strength. After that, Amelia slid to the side with a falling hot air balloon. Fortunately, she used the rope to tie herself in advance. However, the more thrilling part was yet to come. Amelia Saturday on the hot air balloon and threw the dog straight down. The audience was terrified, but the dog landed safely. This is not an acrobatic show, because they were about to do something that would shock the world. Amelia is an experienced hot air balloon pilot. James was a scientist obsessed with weather forecasting. In 1862, at a time when fly technology was very immature, the only thing that could fly into the sky was a hot air balloon. And it was a game for the brave. They threw down their dock to get people's attention. They decided to fly in a hot air balloon to 23,000 feet, where no one had ever been before. The balloon flew slowly with everyone watching. A man and a woman in a hot air balloon just lifted off after 3 minutes and 16 seconds of flight. The balloon had risen to an altitude of 1140 feet above the ground. Everything on the ground is the size of an ant. They feel relaxed in the air. James looked through the binoculars and saw a dark cloud in front of him. But nothing could stop him from exploring the heights because he wanted to prove the weather forecast that everyone had disagreed with two years ago. Nine minutes and 23 seconds later, the balloon rose to 5,500 feet. The temperature was 60 for degrees Fahrenheit. James is a scientist who keeps track of time, temperature and altitude. At this moment, Amelia asks James to help her unzip her jacket. James was a little shy. Amelia asks James to change into his waterproof suit. But James turns around and pulls out a pigeon. He wanted to use the pigeon to send a data message to his friends on the ground. If they don't make it back, they can still leave the data with the people. By now the balloon was already flying into the dark clouds. James reached out and felt the rain. They felt the rain could make people feel happy and free. Suddenly there was thunder in the distance. Instantly there was a violent rainstorm. With the sound of thunder came their first difficulty. They met their first difficulty at over 7,000 feet in the air. Thunder, lightning, dark clouds and heavy rain. The sudden storm made them very frightened. Hot air balloons are non-conductive. But if they were struck by lightning, the balloon will explode. Then they would all die. They swayed in the wind. Even though they held on to the rope, they could not withstand the storm. James clung to his instrument. The violent shaking caused him to lose his focus and fall hard. He was bleeding. The best way to break through the storm was to fly above it. Then the wind threw them over the reins. Amelia was thrown under the basket by the huge upheaval. She could only hold onto a rope to keep her balance. James reaches out to her and pulls her into the basket. Amelia is safe. They quickly threw to sandbags to get the balloon up and tied the rope to her body through the lightning area. Finally they crossed the danger zone and calmed down. The two of them collapsed to the ground. They looked at the sun and finally saw hope. Yes, they had survived. By now they had been off the ground for 19 minutes and 38 seconds. They were already flying above the clouds. After an ordeal they secured the reins. They turned their heads and saw the beautiful spectacle of the corona. The hot air balloon looks incredibly small in the huge clouds. It was particularly quiet here. They can roar as loud as they want. This is their world. They suddenly heard the sound of bells. These sounds are reflected in the humidity. They've made it through the storm, but they hadn't left London yet. Amelia remembered her husband in the sound. Two years ago, she and her husband had needed to lose weight to stay safe when they encountered dark clouds in flight. Her husband had jumped out of a hot air balloon to get her down safely. She looked at the sky. This time her flight was even more for her late husband. By this time, they had reached an altitude of 17,150 feet. The only time Amelia had ever reached this altitude was with her husband. This time she wanted to take her faith and fly even higher. Amelia saw the butterfly when she was helping James apply the wound. They had no idea that butterflies could fly to such heights. It proved to James that besides birds, there are insects that can reach such heights. But it was all too good to be true. In the midst of the beauty, they were about to encounter an even bigger problem. Butterflies can be seen at 17,150 feet. This man and woman are flying high in a hot air balloon. They're still going up. Everything seemed so good. At 20 to 1,500 feet, the temperature has dropped to 21. 2 degrees Fahrenheit. They record the temperature and everything at high altitude. At this point, they've already defied the highest altitudes that humans can reach. They stood at the top and performed a miracle. They had waited their whole lives for this moment. James took out his carrier pigeon and continued to send messages to people on the ground. 
The air was thinning at 24,000 feet. The balloon began to expand. Amelia began to worry about oxygen. She wanted to start descending and couldn't go up any higher. Because of the cold, she once again reminded James to put on waterproof clothing. But James didn't bring his waterproof suit. He was afraid that it would affect the weight, so he preferred to bring his scientific tools rather than his waterproof suit. Amelia asked James to descend, but James thought he could explore more unknown information by continuing to rise. This action made her feel that James was too crazy. She still insisted on descending. James pointed to the sky and asked Amelia to look at the mysterious and beautiful stars. Amelia gave in. They were going to fly there, even though they would eventually descend. But they should still insist. Amelia throws down the sandbag. The hot air balloon continues to rise. The temperature is getting colder and colder. The balloon has frowned sea. 5 degrees Fahrenheit at 26,000 feet in the air. The air is getting thinner and thinner. Vision is becoming blurred. James took out the pigeons and put in the data. But the pigeons can no longer fly without oxygen. The last pigeon was also thrown down by James because he wanted to lose weight. Amelia saw that he was still determined to go up. Amelia realizes that this is more serious than she thought. The hot air balloon was no longer safe. The gas had expanded in this weather. A hot air balloon crack from this height must be fatal. Amelia went to stop him and was thrown to the ground. By now James' nose was bleeding. The lack of oxygen had begun to affect his brain. But James was still going up. He was willing to give his life for science. Eventually James was convinced by Amelia to descend. Amelia tried to open the airlock, but the airlock was frouncing and could not be opened. James had fainted due to lack of oxygen. Amelia could only encourage him to stay alive. Amelia decided to climb to the top of the balloon to cut through the ice of the air release valve. This woman's willpower was particularly valuable in the cold and high altitude. Amelia climbed up to the top of the balloon at 30,000 feet. She tried to cut through the ice with her elbow. This obviously didn't work. She was able to break the ice by chopping hard with her foot, but her shoe got stuck. Amelia cut the laces with a knife and took off her shoes, but her strength was exhausted, so she fell asleep on top of the balloon. After an unknown period of time, Amelia gradually started to slide from the center of the balloon to the edge. Amelia was hanging in midair. She grabbed the rope and called out to James, but James was now passed out. Amelia swung the rope hard and ran towards the balloon. Finally, she grabbed the basket of the balloon and climbs inside. She rushes to wake James up and tells him, We're alive. We're going down. Amelia doesn't want to lose a friend again in flight like she lost her husband. At this point, James slowly comes to his senses. They regain their composure. At this point, they had been off the ground for one hour, 11 minutes and 19 seconds, at an altitude of 28,599 feet. Snowflakes suddenly started falling. They caught the snowflakes in a bow. Because snowflakes at high altitude are valuable for research, as they descended to an altitude of 23,198 feet, the two men were glad they were still alive when they reached an altitude of 18,684 feet in 1 hour and 16 minutes. The hot air balloon's descent was getting slower and slower. It was going almost as fast as the snow. This means they are hovering in the air, and the top of the balloon was leaking air and losing pressure. That means the balloon is going to collapse. They pulled the full deflator. A pair of shoes fell off. It's hard for James to think what Amelia did while he was unconscious. There must be a mad rush to reduce the weight of the balloon. They threw everything out of the basket. Sandbags, boxes, including a book and a fan. Amelia took off her jacket because a little weight could make the balloon fall too fast. But all this is still useless. James suggested climbing up to the ring and dropping the basket. Because the basket is the heaviest, he climbed up and cut off the basket. The basket fell down, but the weight was not light enough to throw away. The speed of the balloon's descent was still not slowing down. Amelia was going to jump out of the balloon, just like her husband had done before. This will keep James alive. The moment of crisis, James looks at the hot air balloon. He cuts the rope that keeps the balloon in shape. The cloth would then be pulled over the net to form a parachute. They did it. They were in the air with their hands clasped together. What awaits them is the difficulty of landing. James fell into a tree, and Amelia fell into the weeds and was dragged 65 feet. They were both grateful to have survived and made it back to the ground. They rode the balloon to a maximum altitude of 11,278 feet. All this data shows that there are different layers of the atmosphere. This allowed for scientific weather forecasting and prediction. He finally earned the respect and cheers of everyone.